Hey guys, remember a while back I did this 3D scan of this building and in that video I talked about how there were shadows in here because it was a sunny day and I said that I had an idea on how to get rid of those. Unfortunately, I never ended up showing you how to do that and that's because I, at the time that I did this video I had heard about the delighting tool for uh, Unity 3D but I hadn't actually tried it yet. So I went ahead and tried it after I made this video and it turned out I could not get it to work at all. And I just kind of gave up because I couldn't figure out at all how to make it work. So today I've found a new tool that's also free from Agisoft and it is called the Agisoft Delighter. So, in this video, let's take a look at how that works and we can get rid of some shadows. Not on this particular scan, I'll choose another one that's a little easier to show for demonstration purposes. So, let's get on with it. So, here we are in Agisoft Delighter. So, we basically just have an empty scene with a gizmo for rotating. And if we want to add our object, we can either click this plus button or just go to File and Import Model. I'll just use the plus button. And I have my model here. Oops. And take a second to load. Now this is a 3D scan I did of this little frog statue. Uh, in real life, it's by maybe about three feet tall. I found it in a park one day while I was walking around. And this one has actually been retopologized, so it's a much lighter model than a straight scan. So the first thing we're going to do is look at where our lit areas are. So here's some sunlight back here. We can kind of tell the sun was coming from this direction. And we've got a little bit over here but most of it is in shadow. So let's start marking our shadow areas and we can do that with the pen tool and we're gonna click this blue palette here and so we'll just click that and we have our brush size slider here. I'll set it somewhere near the middle and there we go and make it a little bit bigger and then we just basically scribble over the shadow areas. It doesn't have to be precise at all. Just scribble all over it. And just make sure we get all the shadow areas. I'm going to save this, like uh, some kids were drawing on with chalk, I think. So I'm going to save that for later and I accidentally drew over a little bit so I can use the eraser tool and just draw over that to erase it okay I'll go back to the pen and get some more of these shadow areas and you don't have to be crazy precise like I was saying just you know get a little bit in each area Unfortunately, if I want to rotate it again, I have to go back to this cursor pointer tool and rotate. So we'll do that and we'll go back to the pen and I'll just scribble over some more of these shadow areas. A little bit in there and some around here. Uh, yep, on this little forearm. Okay, let's rotate some more. Okay, get this shadow back here. Down here. And if you want, you can get really precise with little details like this and you know, reduce your brush size down and you really get in there. But for the sake of the tutorial, I'm just going to go roughly over everything. 
Okay, get underneath. Try to get some of this side. And let's rotate some more. Okay, let's move this up a little bit more. I'm just scribbling all over. The top of his head a little bit. And get inside that little crevice. And get over here. And that's pretty much it. Let's get this hand a little bit. This little froggy hand. Okay, so that's pretty much all the shadow areas. So now we'll pick the yellow palette and we can start marking the sunlit areas. Get in here. Oops, I need to erase that. Let's rotate around here. I don't want yellow on there. Okay, go back to the pen. Some of these get in here. Let's move this a little bit. I'm going to move it with the right mouse button. Okay, draw with the pen in there. Let's rotate a little bit more. A little more scribbling where the sun is hitting him. Okay, get the platform. And we're almost done. Just gonna scribble over here. A little bit there. And I'm going to add a little more shadow down here. So I'll click the blue palette and just scribble a little bit more. I'll just rotate around, make sure I've got everything I want. A little bit more sun here and a little more shadow over here. And that's looking pretty good. Covers pretty much every major area. Now if I have an area that I don't want it to look at, I can use this green palette and I'll reduce my brush down a little bit. And let's zoom in here. By the way, I said I was using the right mouse button to drag. It's actually the middle mouse button. But I'm going to lower my brush size and just going to draw over the text here. The scribbles. So this would be another good time when you would use this would be uh, say your scan is like a park bench and it has a little plaque on it. Or maybe a gravestone and it has some text that you don't want it to, to look at. But that's that. So we've got all our scribbles done. And so I can just come over to the right side here and these actually should be down at none by default. Uh, so we're going to set those to back to none and then I will hit the preview button. And for a direct scan with a lot of polygons, this takes a little longer, like a minute or so. With this model, it goes pretty quick. So we're, here we go, we're done now. And for a preview, here it goes. The shadows are basically gone. So we can just take a look at it. It looks pretty good. 
So now we can go ahead to hit the process button and that takes just about the same amount of time, maybe slightly longer. Yep, but there we go, we're done again. And if we want to get rid of our scribbles, we can just click these X's. And there we go, that looks pretty darn nice. Yeah, I mean there's few spots like down here. This is I guess a shadow originally and it's still a little bit darker in here. But you know that just kind of defines some of the detail. So it's, it's not 100% perfect. It's not made of magic or anything. But it's certainly way better than it looked with the shadows. And you may notice over here there's kind of a brighter yellow spot and sometimes you might see a little bit of blue like that. So that's how when you come over here and you can set this highlight suppression and color artifact suppression to a higher number. I just went ahead and went all the way to high. And then if you want to reset this back to the way it was when you started, you can just open this chunk one and then the first one is 3D model, just double click that. And it goes back to how it was with all of your scribbles. And then once those are set to high, you can just repeat the process, do a preview, or you can just go directly to process. And that takes a little bit longer, but you'll get a good result. So I'll pause this and come back when it's done. Right there we go, we're done. That took just about four minutes. And it looks pretty good. Let's get rid of our scribbles with these X's. And it's not perfect, we do have kind of a harsh shadow line in there. So we might have to do a little bit of photoshopping to smooth that out or clean it but it's still much better than it was before. Okay, so when you're all done, you can save it out, just come up to File, Export Model. For some reason you have to save out the whole model, I don't know why, because you didn't actually change anything with the model, but yeah, I already saved mine out as Froggy Delit, and that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment below. If you have any questions, like this video, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.